going. Welcome to Arm Farm as we go. Excellent. All right, and then small, tiny circles. Yep, and backwards. Good, good, good. All right, so today we got a big mixture. We're gonna work on the floor to get started and then we'll finish it with some dumbbells. So let's start with an um, inchworm on the floor. And again, it's just to warm up the upper body. So bending your knees as much as needed, walking your hands out towards a plank and back up. All right, warming the, the wrists, the shoulders, the forearms, the hands. Good, continue. Let's do three more. Good. And two more. Good, last one. And release, come all the way back up to stand. All right. From here, um, we're just gonna kneel down, but let's do a couple wrist circles, warming up the wrist. And we'll go the other way. Good. So we're gonna do a bit of tricep push up to start and then also a tricep dip. Let's take those hands up and down, extension and inflection of the wrist. So hopefully we got a little warm up going on there. To start with, we're gonna do our triceps push up. We'll have those hands directly beneath the shoulders, hands uh, bringing it to the elbows. And you can do this standing on your desk as well. But keep those elbows close to your ribs as you push away. Sometimes also known as a yoga push up. All right, and you can again do those on your uh, bench or chair right there. So we're gonna go into the six of those. All right, ready, and begin. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna flip it over now to seated, and we're gonna come with those hands facing your heels. And gently lift those hips up as we come down, pressing. Yep, triceps extensions. Good. Four, five, six. And let's bring it back down. Let's repeat that one more time. So back to your tricep push up. Hands close together. And push up. Here we go. Six. Woo. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. And then sit back. All right. Work those wrists out if you need to. Fingers point towards your heels. And lift those hips up. And here we dip. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, have a seat. All right, we're gonna move on, next up. All right, we're gonna come into a flat, a plank, and we're going to travel. So, let me adjust this so you can see a little better. We're gonna be in a plank position, and then slowly walking our hands to the right, and slowly walking the hands to the left. All right, so big effort up on those shoulders and the core. Let's give that just a couple steps a try. All right, coming out to the side, step, step, and other side, step, step. Good, lateral push, three, and four, and good, five, and six. Come on down, take a quick break. All right, and again, just working those wrists. All right, we're gonna stay on our knees here, and we're gonna work our shoulders. So kneeling, send those hips back slightly, and inhale, come to an eye, hands directly over your shoulders. All right, bringing it back down, reach up, 
like the YMCA, biggest Y you can create, and down, and then a T all the way out, squeeze those shoulders back, and up to the I, good, bring it to the Y, good, and out to the T, hips are long, and I, really feel the warmth in those shoulders, I, Sorry, Y and T. Excellent work. Keep that core engaged, breathing deeply. Good. And Y, hinging at those hips, keeping those hips up. Big effort on the back. Good, we got one more round. I, Y, and T. And okay, come back down. We'll do our side stepping planks. So lateral planks again, we'll go six times through. Coming up to that plank and walking it to the side. One, walking back the other way. Two, to the side. Three, and four. Good, long spine, five. And six, and rest. Excellent work. All right, this time we're gonna do our I, Y, and T on the floor, pressing into the floor instead of overhead. So it goes like this, on your back. I, so you're gonna press your backs of your hands straight into the ground, ready? Yeah, and begin, so press I, and release, back over your chest, you kind of let it go. And then Y, like the YMCA, press into the ground hard as you can with those forearms, and the backs of your hands, and release. And now out like a T, pressing down, might feel your shoulders lift, and back to the I. So big, strong work here, pressing into the ground to the Y, press. And back down to the T, press. Good, let's go a couple more rounds. I, start to feel those shoulders really heat up to the Y. And T, it's amazing the workout you can get pushing into the ground. One more, I, woo, Y, and T. And good, release. Let me see our next set. Okay, come into an elbow plank and we're gonna try to push it up into a hand plank. These are elevator planks. So we start here, we push up and back down. Okay, we'll go for six up and downs. All right, ready, be good, six. Five, four, good, three, squeeze those glutes, two, and one, and rest. Woo, good work. All right, we're gonna finish with a side plank on the elbow. And now I'm gonna do the knees because I'm still coming from a back injury, but you're welcome to do your feet. Side plank on your feet or your knees. We're gonna push into the ground and inhale it up, nice and tall, even bringing in a knee up if, you, if you'd like to. All right, let's go, here we go, six. Good, and five. Yep, four. Good. Three, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Pushing into the ground, two, and one. And we'll switch the side. All right, here we go. Pressing into the ground, lifting it up, and down, and five. Good, four, three, and two, 
And one. And rest. Excellent work. Come on back to elbow planks. We're gonna go up and down. Round two. Just six of them. Elbows and then hands. Okay, here we go. Ready? And begin. Down for six. Up for five. Down for four. Up for three. Down two. And up one. All right, coming down side planks. Here we go. Okay, lift it up in three, two, begin. Six and five, four, good. Three and two and one. And we'll do the other side. And here we go. Six. Woo. Good. Five. Squeeze that belly tight. Good. Push it into the ground. Two more. Last one. Really good for those shoulder. And release. Okay. Well, come on back and grab a set of dumbbells. And with those dumbbells, we're gonna finish up our morning. We'll do a little biceps curls. Um, you know, I think we'll do it from kneeling. I mean, that's just different than what we've been doing. So palms up, let's hold one. Yep. As we bicep curl the other. So you're gonna hold one for six as we curl the other. Ready? Good. All the way down, straight arm. Good. There you go. Five, and six, and hold that one out at 90 degrees. Switch the arms, six, Woo. five, good, four, nice, all the way straight, good, three, and two, and one. All right, now we're gonna hold this one here, actually, Use them together. We're gonna go up from the center, back to the center. Good, two, three, four, five, one more. And bring them all the way down. Now we're coming halfway up for six, five. Good, four, try to relax those wrists so they're not curling forwards, good two, and one. I'm feeling the burn already. Six, full range. So six, Woo. five, four, good, good, good. Three, down and slow. Two, up, down and slow. One, last one here. Woo, I'm gonna let it slow as I can. Slow, 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 slow. And slow, feeling that final burn. And release. And let's call that good. We're gonna take those arms, just bring them behind your back. Push down and away. Chin down, chin up, and release. Great, let's come down to your belly and we'll do one stretch on our chest. Okay, left arm comes out, left ear to your shoulder, it starts to the ground, and then gently push from your right hand, right leg comes up and over the left as we roll to the right, stretching, good, stretching the uh, left shoulder and left chest and left bicep. Slowly release, come back through the center, and let's do the other side. Okay, so the bicep uh, connects way deep into the humerus by the deltoid, and so that's why you're gonna feel that nice stretch. You could try to tent your fingers and see if you could get a more deep stretch if you prefer. 
slowly make your way back to center and we'll call it arm farm day. All right, excellent. Let's see here.